Okay, so unfortunately, the recording for the first part of the video corrupted. It was only only like two minutes or so. But we are essentially going to be using a full Gogeta team with a already transformed Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, which is absolutely sick, by the way. And the reason why we can do this is because of the private servers. And like I mentioned in a previous video, this is just the way it's going to be now. Everyone does it, so I would imagine that everyone has gotten used to it at this point. And it's just the way that things have to be done. So if you don't like it, I do apologize. But the majority of my videos are going to consist of this. Just because, like I said, it's you know, just what you have to do. I hope you guys are having a great today as always. Do leave a like, subscribe and all that good stuff if you enjoy the video. But I am so damn excited to use this particular team. Just being able to use the transform units like this straight away is sick to be honest. And I think it's great that... The uh, private server, so to speak, gives us... It's not actually a private server, but... Um, uh, I, I think it's sick that it gives us access to things like this because it's not, you know, not it's not something that we would be able to do normally. You know, so being able to have the ability to do something as unique as this is pretty sick. Now, oh man, I can't... I really want to see these guys in action. Particularly the um, LR Gogeta who is about to super attack here, just because I'm, I haven't used him in his transform state that much. It just looks so good. His super attack is great. His attack stat is crazy high. And I feel like one of the reasons why I'm so excited to use this particular team is because of the effectiveness against all types. I think that's definitely the standout for me. I did make a video on a full Gogeta team, which is sick. Incredible power there. Of course, you have the counters, the multiple super attacks. Just a crazy amount of damage there. But I, I do think it's a bit of a slower team in comparison to this one. Especially because, like I said, we do have the ability to um, just do as much damage as we can because of the effectiveness against all types. Now, this friend Gogeta isn't exactly the greatest, but it's still going to put in a bit of work. And of course, we still have the other ones at 100%. I highly doubt we are going to see LR, Goku, and Vegeta transform at any point just because of the nature of this team, meaning it's extremely powerful. But still, it's, um, how do I put this? It's still nice to be able to have that additional support there. And we already have the transform version anyway. To be honest, LR, Goku, and Gogeta is just dead for the spot because I don't want a Cyberman there. But it's still technically LR, Gogeta. And here we go. The important, the important thing is that we do get to see El Gogeta in action from the very start. And of course we have Super Saiyan Blue uh, Gogeta here as well. And this should hopefully be enough to take him out. We have a ton of damage here, that's for sure. And defense, I should add. But is Gogeta going to dodge here? He did in fact dodge. 2.2 million for the attack stat. I think I'm... <laughs> I don't even know. I think for me, when it comes to the super attacks of the super, you know, regular Super Saiyan Gogeta or Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, I think they're equal for me. I feel like the first one is slightly longer, which is okay, I guess. I just prefer the shorter super attack. So I feel like Super Saiyan Gogeta having having a longer first super attack. Well, he only has one super attack, but you get what I mean. Super Saiyan Gogeta just having a longer super attack takes points off for me, which shouldn't really be a thing, but it's just me being impatient. Right, here we go. Moving on to the next event, though. At a good rate. Ooh, okay. Three more events. But then again, I did take out one event off camera, basically. Uh, right, let's roll with this. Pretty certain that attack is going to be able to take care of the Gohan here. And if it somehow doesn't, you have the absolute monster in the middle. I, I think I'm leaning towards Gogeta now, you know. I think that effectiveness against all types is just too sick. Wow, right, what's happening here? Take care of him. And now we have the physical stage, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, you know what? Let's go, let's go with the intelligence one here. Let's see what the boy can do. And if it's not enough, we do have blue Gogeta in the middle. Dodge? Okay, no dodge there. Ooh, took a bit of damage there. But we should be fine. Are we going to pull off a crit or an additional super attack? Did. Oh, that was close. 
Can we take care of him here? I sure hope so. Come on. Oh, get that damage in. And there we go. 2.1 million damage. Should have probably put Blue Gogeta in the first slot. We're taking him. Uh, would it have taken care of him a bit faster, most likely. And let's save this token mode for next turn. I think that should be a feature. Like, you can just store the token mode and wait to use it when you want to. But right now, that's not the case. And I, I just love seeing his attack stat so high. And the fact that you know this attack is going to do a ton of damage is great as well. Because of the effectiveness against some types. And we get the additional super attack. Damn. That's my first time seeing that attack in such a long time. Now we have the STR stage. Which is going to be an absolute great time for Blue Gogeta here. Especially with this token mode. You know what? I want you guys to put in the comment section down below how much damage you think this token mode is going to do. I personally predict 4 million damage. Easy. Easy 4 mil. Possibly even more than that. To be honest, I'm expecting way more than that. Attack stat 2.2 mil. I'm expecting at least 6 million from this token mode. If it's a crit, maybe even more. But we are going to find out in a moment. Alright, what's happening here? And it does 4.89 million. Okay, maybe I overestimated how much he would do with a critical hit. But it was still quite high regardless. And we have two more events left. I feel like, oh my word. I just noticed how old this boss rush is. Like, damn, we are just flying through this particular event. Right, let's go with that. And we can go in with LR Gogeta. Or Goku and Vegeta at the end as well. We're doing good. We're doing good, guys. But we didn't get the 18 key. Yo, they, they didn't fix... Oh, my word. They did... After all this time, they didn't fix the ears on his animation. It was the exact same on the STR one for the first year anniversary. And, um, anniversary. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, he has the elf ears. Like, his ears are massive in that super attack animation. It's not that big of a deal, but I just find it funny. Because they did correct some of the animations, if I'm not mistaken, for some of the older units. I could be wrong. I think it was STR Super Saiyan God Goku that they updated the animation for. But it's such a small thing that I'm surprised they didn't, like, just change the shape of the year. But I guess it doesn't really ma matter that much. Oh, this should be a one-shot. I would be very surprised if he doesn't take him out of one hit here. Attacks that crazy high. We already have a type advantage. It, it, yeah, it's game over. Goodbye, Freezer. Look at that. 3.5 million damage. What a beast. Now we have this absolute monster of a, of a rotation. Okay. Let's see what LR Goku and Vegeta can do here. Is this the first time super attacking? I feel like it is. Did a ton of damage though. Ooh. Blue Gogeta may be able to take him out here. That's the hope anyway. And there we go, we get the crit as well. Which means that we are now moving on to the final stage. And what event is this? Um, Not Ultra Instinct Goku. It is Super Vegito. Okay, it's been a while. But we are definitely going to breeze through this. Because his weakness is Fierce Battle. Of course, at the time when the um, original Agility one was out. There weren't... All that many fist battle units, so it was like, yes, you know, you gotta make do with what you have. Um, which at the time wasn't much for me anyway. But now it's like everyone has fierce battle, so it's not too tough. And I believe there is one more no, there's two more stages left. Right, let's go with Blue Gogeta again. It feels so weird saying that, because it's so like I would imagine that a lot of people are just so used to saying blue Vegito. You know, Blue Goku, Blue Vegeta. I doubt many people thought that they would be saying Blue Gogeta at some point. <coughs> Pardon me. And we one-shot him. Now we have the second to last stage. And we are going to pull off the 18 key super attack here. Which, for some reason, we were struggling with. We got a 12 key super attack back-to-back -back for a few turns. Whenever the Gogeta popped up. But this is going to be an easy one shot. And I know a lot of you Gogeta fans are going to love this. Super Saiyan or Super Gogeta. 
versus Super Vegito here. And that is an easy one shot. 4.8 mil. If we get a crit here, it's going to do so much more damage. Ooh, we've got Blue Go Gita as well. I think this is GG. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think the links matter too much here. But here we go. I think that this is going to be the end of it. Not, you know, no dodge there, but it's fine. Because Vegito is going to get what's coming to him. Right, the attack stat isn't as high as the LR, but you know what? It's still pretty damn high. So used to seeing these high numbers now. And it's going to hit 4. 4.3 mil. Well, that was the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. That was the full Gogeta team showcase. We'll most likely be doing a bit more of this with just other units and such. But I hope you did enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next one.